welcome to this channel IBMI classes uh, in this video session I will be discussing about source entry utility uh, which is an uh, editor uh, provided by IBM on the uh, IBMI terminal site and uh, another, th another, th another thing I will discuss that how we can uh, access that source entry utility SEU uh, using str seu command or work member pdm and uh, the next thing i'll discuss the uh, like uh, how we can handle the continuation in next line in the cl program so if you want to continue our uh, command or anything else so how can we achieve that so let's discuss so source entry utility first of all we need to create a source p source physical file using this create src pf command sure so either we can mention the file name as qclesrc ibmi class 1 And here comes the record length. So for serial source, the record length standard record length is 92. And member name. So if you want to create any member, so we can mention the member name as well. Like member one. Press enter. So if you want to access this. Q C L L E S R C IBM I class one. So we also created one member which is blank or empty. You can say you can edit it by using two option. Now let's just do S T R S E U on the command line and take F four. See you on the command line and take F4. So if you mention the QCLSRC source file and IBM my class one library, and here comes the member. If you want to create a new member, so you need to give the, the member name which is not already present on the source physical file QCLSRC. Or if you want to access the previous member, then you can write that name. Sure. And if you want to access the whole CLSRC and want to see what the members present, the what are the members present there, they just press enter. So you can see these are the members which are present in that QCLSRC source physical file, and you can edit them using two, delete them using using option four, and browse them option five. Sure. Now suppose if you want to create a new member just write mbr1 you want to give the type you want to give the text hi or hello you can see that QCL SRC so you can see that member 1 of type CLLE and text hello has been created which is empty right now so you cannot access anything out there so I'm deleting that so So either uh, you can access the star source so source entry utility you can start the source entry utility using strseu or work member pdm work member pdm so you can access the seu using the pdm 
that is program development manager so what we'll do we'll do work member pdm if you want to create a new member you can take f6 here and then create the source member of type cl sure now the next thing is continuation in the next line plus or minus so continuation in the sense i'm talking about just take an example of the string and if we want to concatenate uh, we want to write a string in two different lines then what does those operators plus and minus will do just take two here so i have written a very simple program pgm and pgm declared a variable var1 of length 20 and this is the global mon monitor message now i'm what i'm doing i'm evaluating the value in var1 variable using this change variable command sure so first time var1 is having a1 and then a space then plus and then d1 value sure Or, or what we can do, we can write D1 here. Sure. Now, again, I'm doing, uh, making it empty, where one has blank, and then I'm using, I'm changing the variable where one with A1 space, then using the minus sign, and then D1 with some spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 spaces, then in PGM. So, what, what does that mean actually? So, I just want to show, highlight the difference between these two plus and minus. And I'm writing my uh, same, is the one is string in two lines with, with the continuation sign. So, continuation signs are either plus or minus. If I use plus, then in that case it will only consider this space in, in this the first line one space and the value would be evaluated to where one is a1 space b1 now if i use minus it will consider this space as well as the spaces which are present in the next line only sure so after executing this statement var1 will be having a1 then one space here one two three four five six spaces total then b1 value in var1 variable so let's see the demo just compile it using star source star source CRDBG CLPGM 7 <coughs> Set the breakpoint at line number 1 Now call this program called CLPGM7. So press F10. Currently var1 is having blank value. Now after this we have a1 space b1. So when we are using plus continuation sign then it will consider this space only. Sure not this space so when plus sign is there so it will not consider the spaces present in the continuation line or you can say in the next line now again where one becomes blank and now once this statement gets this command gets executed or you can say serial statements serial statement get executed gets executed then this have this value a1 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 the spaces and even. So this is the huge difference between plus and minus sign. 
so minus continuation sign will consider the spaces present in the next line or you can say in the continuation line a plus uh, continuation sign will not consider the spaces present in the next line or in, you can say in the continuation line but in both the cases the common thing is they will consider the space in their first line but in minus they will not consider they will consider the space in the next line as well. Sure. So this is the difference between these two continuation signs plus and minus. So I think that's all in this video uh, where I mentioned about SEU, accessing SEU, how we can access SEU, ST, using str SEU command or using work member PDM command, how we can create the source physical file how we can add the new member or edit the members or what is the difference between the plus and minus continuation sign so continue whenever the continuation goes into the continuation and goes into the next line then uh, what is the difference between plus and minus sign so these things i told and with uh, for the continuation i i use one example so this is all thank you and have a nice time